Hey boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel PD, and for today what we have in here it is what I consider to be a very special game. It is the PC Building Simulator, this game is still on our access and it was developed by the regular uh, company and it's using Unity 5 engine. So this is another of those simulator games like Car Mechanic Simulator, but this time we have your game for the, the fans that are um, fans <laughs> of uh, building PCs, I mean assembling or doing some work like uh, queen viruses or uh, upgrading PCs. People that love to mess around with PCs will surely love this game and I'm one of those persons because I always was a fan of uh, messing around with PCs, open PCs and cleaning and uh, cleaning virus and upgrading and building the PCs from scratch. It was something that when I was young I was uh, I dreamed about working in a shop or something and build PCs to people. It was kind of my dream job but unfortunately I just had to forget about it because in my country it isn't really well paid and there isn't um, too much places to work so I had to focus more on software development which is something that I'm not 100% good at but at least it's more or less inside the area and so this is this PC building simulator is kind of a refreshing thing for me because um, it makes me dream, it makes me, it places me on the dreams that I had when I was young, okay? And I still do this kind of stuff in home to some friends and unknown people and usually I take money for it. But yet it's still, uh, it's still very refreshing to see a game uh, working with this. So this is the graphic settings of the game. Weirdly this game doesn't support 720p. Uh, it has that weird resolution which is 100, uh, 1280 per 768 we have here multiple settings but all of them doesn't do too much in performance or graphics I just notice uh, small differences like anti-aliasing you have a v-sync option full screen and I remove the music not only because copyright problems that might affect this video but also because it was kind of annoying. I prefer to use my own music in this game, okay? For the people that are concerned about my Far Cry video, I mean my Far Cry 5 video, what I have to say about it, it is that um, I got this game for free, so I didn't spend any money, okay? That would be for Far Cry 5, but for now Far Cry 5 needs to wait because I don't have that much money, and also my friends don't have the game, so it needs to wait, okay? So let's now check the performance that uh, I could get with this game in two different settings. So I've only benchmarked the game inside the shop. Uh, I mean, you are always inside your own shop, your own room. And it seems that the game it is very demanding, no matter what settings you are going to use it. So if you use 700... Uh, it's not 720 beams, uh, it is 1280 per 768 with the variable settings. I was able to get, uh, well, a weird average over there, so it was not that, that different from the maximum setting, so I got an average of 24, and by the other one I got an average of 20. So the performance didn't, didn't change that much, and unfortunately the game did stutter a lot uh, from time to time. Uh, it is a little bit weird in my opinion, because uh, the graphics card was getting um, all the raping thing I mean oh, the graphic card was responsible for the bad frame rate but the stuttering it seemed like a problem with the Intel CPUs because the game doesn't use too much CPU and so the CPU was always changing frequencies from um, from one frequency to another and when that thing did happen um, what happened really is that the game provided some stutters so I think that if you find a way to force your CPU to always work at the full speed uh, those stutters might not appear in this game despite this game it is not really CPU demanding it is all to the GPU which is a little bit unfortunate because I don't think the scenario in this game has anything that would justify that lack of performance but the reality it is that it do perform like this, yet the game is still on early access so it might get an improvement. 
So we have here multiple types of game. We have free build, which you can build anything. That is this one, which I think it's very useful, which is how to build a PC. So the game forces you into a tutorial where you build a PC from scratch. I think this is very useful, especially for now that we have this uh, low-end uh, laptop that barely runs games like Assassin's Creed Origins or Forza Horizon, and we can't play these games. And with this game, it teaches you how to build a desktop. For me, it's fine. I already know how to do it for a long time ago. But for many people that are afraid to venture into building their own desktop, this game actually does a pretty good job teaching you how to build a PC from scratch, what you need to do. It might not be 100% 100 accurate most of the time, but it explains a lot of stuff like this. I have here the power supply and it explains every stuff about it. So I think it's really interesting and I think this thing, this particular game mod, should be at least free for no payment at all because this is very useful stuff, okay? And I think they should at least create a demo of this game um, with this section completely for free because I think it's really, really useful for most of the users. Uh, as far as I've seen, this game has been a huge success on Steam right now, already sold I think half a million copies, so I'm betting that many people are actually liking this game. Uh, the only thing, uh, actually there is a lot of support from real brands like ASUS, MSI, Intel, AMD, uh, Cooper Master, oh my god, that is uh, even Future Mark and their 3D Mark benchmarks are here. So there are a lot, lot of support coming into this game, which is very interesting. Okay, so for me, uh, this video will be a little bit different. It will be a huge video. It will be more or less a gameplay video where I show you how this game works because I'm very passionate about this type of stuff. And so I decided to do more or less a different video. Okay, so this is the performance that you can expect in this game. And yes, it's a little bit disappointing. It is uh, series very bad. It's not unplayable, but it's not really a pleasant experience as you can expect. Playing with frame rates lower than 20 frames per second, it's nothing to dream of, uh, as you can expect. And sometimes there are some stutters, but I think that uh, due to the recording, it is actually forcing forcing the CPU to some timings that it's not causing so too much uh, too much stuttering. Okay. So, uh, what you need to do in here is to, in this career mode, is to, you have a shop basically, where you need to treat PCs and people paid for it. So, it's more of a, a management uh, work uh, which you need to do with the shop and you need to solve the problems of the PC. It seems that uh, you receive an email that explains more and less how you could do it with the shop, things that you need to take in consideration, like you need to pay rent for the shop, you need to pay for the tools, so there are some stuff that you need to be careful with, and it seems that this shop was from your uncle team that decided to not use this shop anymore, because I think it wasn't uh, giving too much uh, benefit, and it decides you to leave the shop. So you have here our first job, which is from Albin, so it pays us 100 uh, 100 bucks for removing the virus. So since it's a guy, I'm going to believe this is porn. This is because of porn. So you pick up the PC, you place in your desk, which is rather interesting. And you need to connect the cables uh, to the PC and the frame rate is getting horrible. 13 frames per second. Oh my god. Okay, but let's try any way to do it. So, yeah, you can move the PC in order to connect the stuff that you want, so we need to connect our keyboard, we need to connect our mouse, we need to connect our HDMI port to the graphics card, in this case it's a GTX 750 Ti, uh, good graphic card, okay, it's a little bit old by now, but it's still a good graphic card, it would be a dream for most of uh, our laptop users over here. So we need to insert a, an USB drive. This USB drive contains stuff like uh, Vero scanner and other softwares. And usually when I receive PCs in my house, usually I do this by software, but I'm always curious to see what are those PCs. So in this case you can investigate, you can see that this PC has 2 gigabytes of RAM and it has a GTX 750 Ti. So it doesn't make too much sense to have 2 gigabytes of graphic card. Uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM and having this graphic card. It doesn't make too much sense because 2, gig two gigabytes of RAM you can't play anything today. 
So I'm just going to assume somebody was dumb enough to pair up this graphic card with that amount of RAM. Even if you are only working, uh, wasting money of seven uh, seven hundred and fifty Ti, it's it's not really necessary for working. So let's all forget about this and do our job. I will put the side panel. You need to screw the screws. So this is uh, very neat neat picking about this. Okay. And I will put all power on the PC. So the operating system in this game seems far more quicker than Windows. It's uh, the Omega operating system. It is very quick, fortunately. And I'm going to install the virus scanner from the pen drive. We need to wait a little bit. Not all the things are immediate. And let's restart the PC. Omega OS is very quick, as you can see. It's like we have an SSD something that I don't have on any of my PCs yet and you perform a virus scan and it found 413 virus well porn have been strong on this one so let's shut it down and the PC is ready so you pick up the PC and take it to near the entrance of the shop which this one this seems like a small apartment but this is far interesting so it's done you collect the money the 100 bucks from the Albin okay let's just collect it okay and you receive a mail from him like he already got the PC and it says that uh, everything is fine it's booting faster than in years so I can't imagine how much time this guy have virus on his PC so it looks like uh, business is good and so that remains to be seen thanks Gary so we received three new works over here we have the waters which needs a new hard disk drive with uh, 500 gigabytes from the easy store sat uh, 6 which is in this case it's 3 gigabytes per second okay we have the queen britney which needs a gtx 970 it seems that uh, her gtx 970 broke down and it needs a newer one from the Shein. i don't know this brand uh, but okay and so in reality I believe that the GTX 970 would be right now still in warranty but let's forget about that detail uh, she needs another one okay and it's money for us and this one needs to, to have its virus removed from the PC and to clean out the dust so yes it might be a little bit piggy PC okay so all these jobs are for tomorrow in this game so you need to fetch the stuff that you need to include on those PCs. So, the Queen needs a GTX 970. I'm going to buy here a GTX 970 gamer. And for the other guy, it needs uh, an easy store of 500 gigabytes. Okay, so it's it's this one. So I'm going to include it. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see the mouse because of the recorder, but okay. And you have two types of delivery, so you can choose the delivery in three or five working days paying only 10 bucks but since all these people requested these uh, kind of activities for tomorrow you need to pay 30 bucks for your stuff uh, for your stuff being your shop in the next day so all the stuff is done for today you received an email from your bank telling you that uh, your debt can go over 1000 bucks we have a debt of 260 because we buy the gtx 970 and the 500 gigabytes are this drive but everything is done for today so i'm going to leave the workshop continue and the, it shows you a calendar of when you need to pay the rent and all the stuff and the activities that you have plans um, for the upcoming day so for tomorrow we have three pieces to fix so we already spent a day and when we get back to the workshop we already have three pcs a lot of boxes with the gtx 970 and the artist drive so we have here all the stuff and this is when you start to repair the stuff so i'm going to start with the most interesting one which is from queen britney she wants her graphic card to get replaced and this game actually teaches you how to replace a graphic card and this is like reality this is pretty simple so you just need to pick up the PC. Oh my god, 12 frames per second. <laughs> my god. Okay, let's remove the side panel. You need to unscrew. So the boring stuff that you need to do. And you go to the graphic card. Unscrew another screw. Remove the graphic card. Pick up the new graphic card. The new GTX 970. Okay. Screw. 
the, the graphic card and it's done. It's like reality. Changing a graphic card on desktop is as simple as this. It's just removing your cards and connecting another one. It might be cases like this is not 100% accurate because the GTX 970 requires an, act, uh, an additional power supply cable uh, in order to get enough power to work. So in the worst case scenario, in the reality, what you needed to do it is to connect another cable from the power supply to the graphic card. Okay, but for graphic cards like the GTX 750 Ti, it's not necessary. For graphic cards with, uh, like for example, the GTX 1050 Ti, 1050, or the GT 1030, or even some AMD graphic cards like the RX 550, it's not necessary to connect those cables. But either way, it's, it's far from difficult. Upgrading a PC. S switching graphic cards it is far easier F far easy okay so after you do this you connect the pc boot it up to see if everything is okay of course in reality you might need to install some drivers but in this case queen britney uh, wanted the same graphic card so i believe that uh, installing drivers was not really necessary but okay so when it's done now i'm going to pick up the one that needs a new artist drive okay so let's put in here the PC and let's start to open it like the usual. Okay, let's just remove the stuff. Okay, there we go. And in this case it is actually pretty good because it has some drive trays which you can pop out the case. For example, my, my case of my real PC doesn't have any of this, but this is actually pretty useful. <laughs> Okay, we have a lot of drive trays. You can place any HDD or SSD in these drive trays. Okay, and it seems that our friend in here had a 112, uh, 120 gigabytes uh, hard disk drive. So, okay, let's insert the 500 gigabytes um, hard disk drive. Okay, so you just need to put it in there. In the reality, you needed to screw some screws there in order to, you know, to, to secure the hard disk drive. And then you need to connect the cables uh, to the motherboard so it can connect with your PC and you need to connect a cable from the power supply in order to provide power to the hard disk drive. It's just two things, a SATA cable to the motherboard and a power cable from the power supply, okay? So I'm not really sure how can I do this in this game, wait just a second, I'm kind of trying to guess. Uh, okay, cables. You need to select cables, and there we go. You connect to your power supply, and the other one you connect to the SATA ports on the motherboard, which are these small ports over here. Okay, done. So it should be ready. Okay, everything seems. Uh, it seems that we need to connect the usual stuff: keyboard, mouse, monitor, and power supply. Let's just connect it. Okay usual stuff this guy always uh, it has a GTX 970 too so uh, all these people are very have very good PCs <laughs> I am not that lucky unfortunately okay so let's power up the PC I didn't close it because in reality I never do this because uh, when I mess around with the PC I only close the, the side panels when I'm 100% sure that everything is working and that's exactly what I've done in here I confirmed if the PC was booting up with no problems and then uh, you close the PC, okay? You close the, the, the side the side panels and stuff like that, so let's put the side panels again on the PC. Okay. It might be useful to confirm again after putting the side panels because you might have touched uh, something that would conflict with anything, but yet that is very rare to happen. But there you go, the PC is fine, I'm not going to connect all the stuff again, I'm just going to deliver it. Okay, and it's done. So for the last one of this video, I will pick up this PC which is <laughs> completely dusty. It seems that somebody have been using this PC to perform some rally on the, on the terrain. So let's remove the screws. Very interesting. This one has more screws than the others, so it's actually great. Okay, done. And we have here a compressor there, which you can use to to blow out the dust. 
and apparently the spray it inside your shop which is not a good thing at least you would take the your computer to to outside but okay so there we go we are blowing everything and as simple as this the PC is now cleaned okay fine and now let's insert the pen drive and the side panel because this guy uh, wants us to check the virus so it's pretty much the same procedure as the first PC that we have here on this video very interesting stuff so we need to connect again the same cables like usual strange that every people in here has dedicated graphic cards and nobody has an integrated graphic card like an Intel or anything everybody has good graphic cards in this game okay let's power up the PC and let's put up the pen drive with the virus scan and let's access the PC do the same procedure again stopping the virus scanner the PC will be asking us for reboot so let's wait restart very quick there we go and perform a virus scanner there we go okay shut down PC is ready I guess so again for the fourth time in this video I will be delivering another another ready PC okay so I'm going to the computer, I'm going to the email, usually I would do this for each PC that I would uh, solve the problems but not, right now I decided to, to, to accumulate three of them and accept all of them together and you notice that you can level up in this game, this is very important because you unlock um, new access to new components and all of them seem real, like for example, look at this Cy uh, Cyroric Coolers, uh, Intel Core CPUs, if you evolve to level 3 you get access to the AMD Ryzen CPUs and AMD M4 motherboards, Seagate HD, so all of these are real brands. It's actually great to see uh, all the PC markets embracing this game, this is something that uh, I never see it before. Uh, I have seen before like for example some examples from Microsoft games to show surfaces or Windows phones or their Windows operating systems but in a game specialized on fixing PCs which is just a game it is insane to see real components in this game so it's it's actually great to see and it seems like a very very nice game unfortunately the game it is a little bit expensive it costs 20 bucks okay probably for you guys if you don't have too much money you might need to wait for a sale but that might take some time to appear because the game is still on early access and I'm pretty sure that many stuff will get out uh, for this game we will get a lot of improvements and hopefully it will get better optimized on the future but if I find a way to get it cheaper than 20 bucks I will leave you a link on the description okay uh, for you to get the game cheaper than 20 bucks okay so check out the description if uh, if you are interested in buying this game okay and so that's pretty much it that I want to talk about the PC building simulator I find this game very interesting because I always like I said I'm very passionate about this I always loved to mess around with the PCs with fixing up it was my uh, my teen dream it was to work with PCs but unfortunately the real life is not always so generous and I had to embrace uh, other opportunities and other ways of work but anyway having a game like this it is it is really surprising guys so that's all that I want to talk about PC building simulator very sorry for this different game uh, different video but I think this uh, this game deserves uh, a different video okay so thank you a lot for watching and hope to see you soon goodbye